Welcome back aliens, my name is Arvind Reddy and in this video we'll see how to install Docker on Windows. So we have seen how do we use Docker on Ubuntu, in fact we have seen the installation of it and then we were also able to run the hello world. But now it's important to understand can we do the same thing in Windows and is it different from Linux. So let's, let's explore that. Now the first thing I will do is of course we are on the website of Docker and we'll see how do you download but then let's go back to command prompt here like we need to see do we have docker installed now how do we check that so it's very simple you simply have to perform this operation or you say docker version now if it is giving you the version that's great you have a docker installed but unfortunately on my machine we don't have a docker so let's install it now for that you need to go to your docker website and you in fact you can just instead of searching here of course you will get that but then we can just go to google and search for uh, docker download oh unfortunately i'm on bing uh, i know that's weird but <laughs> anyway so if you go to this website which is hub.docker.com they will have they have an option of downloading the docker desktop for windows now we have seen this website before, right? So when we were working with Linux, uh, how we were installing the uh, Docker there, we have seen what is hub.docker.com. So they also have the desktop version of Docker on this website. Now this desktop version is available for Windows and I guess Mac as well. Uh, so here, what we'll do is we can get the two type of setup. One is stable one, which is preferred. Now if you want to do some experiment, you want some ex ex uh, experimental features, you can go for the edge one as well. So let's stick to the stable one. Let's click on get stable. So if you check the downloads, it is downloading the setup. But the good thing is I already have this setup on my machine. So let me just show you that setup here. So you can see I already have a setup here. Let's click on install. Now this is one of the easiest way of installing softwares. Uh, unlike Ubuntu where we have to, you know, in Ubuntu we have to compass commands and something. But here uh, we can simply uh, double click it. Now the only thing is you need to have the Hyper-V feature enabled uh, so if you it is not enabled you can just go to google and search for how do you enable hyper-v options on windows and i guess it is only available in windows 10 pro so normally i don't work on windows much uh, but then do check that if you don't have hyper-v option in windows that means you have uh, the other versions of windows 10 which is i guess home if i'm not wrong uh, but then yeah so in pro we have it so in this machine i do have windows pro so yes, I want to enable the Hyper-V options and I also want to add uh, the shortcuts. So let's click on OK. Uh, so it, it may take some time, depending upon your machine speed. So you can see we have uh, done with the installation, click on close. Now it may ask you to restart your machine. So if it is asking you to restart, please restart your machine. OK, so how do you verify now? So it says installed. So do check for the whale icon. So just go to your system tray and check for the whale icon. If it is there. It will say it is starting the docker and something so you can just check that check out so if i go to my system tray docker is still not here so what to do now so it's time to restart the machine okay so once we have restarted the machine let's go to the system tray to see how the icon looks like so you can see we have a whale icon here and if you click on that that's a docker so it says docker is still running so when you get a restart option that means docker is running uh, you can check about the about docker and we'll see this uh, we can also go to dashboard and uh, stuff but if you go back to settings uh, this is very interesting so you can jump to the resource and you can adjust the amount of resources you want to allocate to the docker uh, so in this case it will go for some by default options so as a beginner stick to the basics uh, stick to the default options uh, so let me just close that now with this docker when you restart the machine it will also give you a prompt of a tutorial for docker so you can just follow that and you can understand how docker works but then we are also seeing that in the video itself right uh, so how do you verify it so one one of the step is you can just say docker version the same thing we have checked before the uh, the start of the video and so yeah that's the version we got so we got docker version 19.03 uh, that's a stable one so this is working now one of the way you can check also uh, download the image you can run it so the same thing we did in the linux uh, tutorial as well so what i will do is i will go i will say docker and i want to run a hello world image here so i will say hello world and it should work so if, if i say enter 
Now, initially, when you do this for the first time, it will say the Docker, the image for Hello World is not available. That's the first line it was saying, unable to find. And then if it will download this image from the hub.docker.com. Now, just to explore that, I can just go back to my browser. I normally don't prefer to use Edge, but for videos, it works. So I will say hub.docker.com. And the amazing thing is this Edge browser is based on Chromium. So you always get the feel of Chrome when you use Edge. Okay, so here uh, we are actually working with this Hello World image. So if you can just go there, that's the official image which we have. And this is what we have downloaded in this uh, in the in the local machine and that's the thing we got we got hello from docker right so this is how you install docker on your local machine uh, on windows basically so now we know how to work with linux we know how to work with uh, with windows so i hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos bye, -bye.